I was always inspired by musicians coming from other parts of the world. This is quite a natural thing that we overlook what we have and very quickly look at what's happening elsewhere. I enrolled in a conservatory there, the Amsterdam Conservatory. Very quickly I started to realize that what they were teaching is the same as most music institutes. If I follow this wave, I'm going to be the same as every musician that goes into a jazz institute. I don't want to do that. So at that point, I started to check out South African music. I lived here for 23 years of my life. So I went to gigs and was involved in the scene and stuff, but I wasn't checking out records deeply and checking out the history of South African music. It took me to travel to the other side of the world to really understand how important music and history is in this country. Looking for something that I thought was there and then arriving there and realizing that it's not here, it's back home, you know. That was a big learning curve for me. The grass is always greener where you water it.